If you've ever tried to hire a virtual assistant, but it didn't go so well, it's likely that you made one of the mistakes that I'm going to share with you today. And if you're new around here, my name is Jen Lehner. I'm a digital marketing and systems strategist, and I help people scale their businesses quickly by outsourcing the smart way. So today I'm going to share with you the top mistakes that most entrepreneurs make when they set out to hire a VA so that you can avoid making those mistakes. Number one mistake is expecting a miracle of sorts. And by miracle, I mean, you're expecting Wonder Woman to join your team. Now, you can expect to have your version of a Wonder Woman or a Superman. But the thing is, I see a lot of people going out into the marketplace to try and hire a virtual assistant who can do SEO, graphics, YouTube editing, social media, invoicing, coding. <laughs> and the truth is my virtual assistant really can do most of those things, but it is unrealistic to expect to find someone right off the bat that has all of those skills, which leads me to number two. It ties in perfectly with number two, which is, most people hire for hard skills rather than soft skills. What do I mean by this? Well, hard skills would be like coding, SEO, Facebook ads, copywriting, like hard skills, okay? Soft skills are more like enthusiasm, culture fit, loves to learn, the person is flexible. Those are soft skills, and it's way more important to hire for those than the hard skills. And then the people go into this with a very transactional mindset. So it's sort of, of the, in the same spirit as finding uh, a, an hourly contractor on Fiverr or Upwork or somewhere like that, where you just need someone to do a few hours of work or to complete a project. And it's very transactional. Can you do it? Yes, I can. Will you accept this amount of money? Yes, I will. Okay. Today's the day you start. Okay. Thank you. That's transactional. What I like to teach people to do, if you are looking for a virtual assistant who's going to grow with your business and be with you for years is to have a, uh, an attitude and a mindset that is more about looking for a perfect partner, okay? Someone who you are going to actually have over time a really meaningful working relationship with. And it's a much different thing when you go into it with that mindset than it is when you go into it with just that transactional, I am looking for a coder. Can you be my coder? <laughs> uh, I don't know why I just did that robot voice. But anyway, transactional versus more of a mm, human approach. And final mistake that I see people make when they go to hire a virtual assistant is they're really not prepared. So maybe they do fine through the hiring process, but then what? So you don't want this great person to, you don't want this, uh, you work so hard to find this person, right? You wanna keep this person. And the best way to do that is to just have a few systems in place. You don't have to build, you know, some sort of giant how-to manual, but it is a good idea to have a few things in place. For example, why not whip up a little um, welcome to, my business video where you just show them around. That could be showing them around a real brick and mortar business if you have one and you could use your iPhone to do that. Or you could, if it's if you have a an online business, then you would just show them your website. You would show your YouTube channel, all your social media, and just give them a tour. And while you're at it, talk about your expectations, your big picture as a business. Like what is your mission? Why are you in business? Where are you trying to go with your business? You could share all that in a video. That's a wonderful way to welcome a new virtual assistant. And then uh, not also a bad idea to have um, a few things ready to go for them. Um, and again, it doesn't have to be that you have to have these giant how-to manuals, but just recording a few videos of some of your existing processes so that they have something to get started with right from jump. Okay, so let's just review those mistakes again. Number one, don't expect a miracle. Be realistic in your hiring. Number two, look for the soft skills, not the hard skills. Number three, 
replace that transactional mindset with something a little bit more human. And number four, prepare. For more tips and trainings on growing your business by outsourcing the smart way, make sure you hit subscribe and that little bell so you never miss one of my trainings.